What's up my dudes and welcome back to Daily Diecast. You guys know I've been expanding my horizons lately and I've been checking out some other awesome diecast brands and one of those brands is M2. Super stoked on this brand. As you can see, uh, I got one of their uh, their sets here, a hauler and car and a couple of more Camaros and I'm just super impressed by them. So when my girlfriend uh, arrived today and showed me this, I was absolutely astonished. Look at the awesome details. So sick. That girl knows me so well, and I am just stoked to go ahead and add this to my collection. So I'm going to crack this open off screen with my trusty knife, and uh, I'll be right back. Right, so here it is outside of the cardboard, but I still have it in the Lexan, just so you can check it out real quick. You have the M2 logo up top. You can see it is a 68 C60 truck and a 72 Camaro. And that's what it looks like in the Lexan case. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove those screws right there with uh, my awesome M2 screwdriver. And once again, I will return shortly. All right, you guys, here it is. Check out this beautiful set. How awesome is that? That bright green C60. The bright green Camaro, so awesome. The fact that it comes with all these extra tires and, and well, just wheels in general, it's so awesome. Like, I love the, the Goodyear on the wheels. You know what? Let's go ahead and take this off real quick because it comes off really easily. And let's check out this hefty little truck. Really nice. See the Chevrolet script is really easy to read. Headlights look great. Grill and bumper look pretty good. Bumper is kind of off the side a little bit. But very nice rims and tires. All rubber. Love that they have the Goodyear Tampo. It's so awesome. Let's move this light a little closer. There we go. Got a black top with some detailed lights up there. Very nice. Metal on metal. Very cool. And one thing I noticed, it's pretty similar to this one that I picked up a little while back. This is also an M2. And I'm pretty sure that this will attach to this. Yep, sure does. So, wow. So that is so cool. Uh, one thing I realized I forgot to do, I forgot to unscrew the Camaro. So let me just do that real quick. And here is that beautiful second gen Camaro. Excellent wheel and tire choice. Color, the paint color and the tempo is all look really nice. Detailed interior. See, we've got white leather seats, but with a black dash, steering wheel, and shifter. Dang, the taillights look awesome. Now, that part is plastic. So, oh, look at those super wide, fat tires in the back. <laughs> wow. I'm sure I got to mess those a little bit to help them roll, but it's all good. Look how fat they are. It's so sick. Metal on metal, of course. The front looks really nice as well. I genuinely don't know if the hood opens, so I'm going to find out right now. Well, I should have known better uh, because this hood did not open. It's also a second gen, but no, this hood does not open. But it's okay. I don't think it takes anything away from the awesomeness of this little diecast car. It looks really, really nice. Now, let's take a look at this, at this trailer. Now, this thing has some nice weight to it. This is actually metal. Well, this part's metal. These little tracks are plastic. Let's see, I think, yeah, they actually function some, somehow, some way. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I guess it goes all the way to the end and then probably pops down, I guess, making a ramp. Oh, wait, or maybe it goes up, making a, I'm not really sure what this thing does, to be honest with you. I probably should know, but I just don't know what it does. Huh. Well, if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, this thing is nice and hefty. Also has really nice tires and rims. And the best part is it's all black. Oh, sick. It's a Chevrolet right there. Love that. And it looks like I could probably take this off even too because it has screws right here. And I don't know if I can actually use these rims or these wheels. It looks like, yeah, it looks like, see that? Huh? Like it actually kind of came apart a little bit. I could probably use those if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave them obviously. 
And uh, like I was saying, the best part is, is that it's just all black, so I can put it on this trailer if I want, or on this truck if I want. You know, the, the rims don't match per se, but it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Yeah, this is just so cool. M2 has really been impressing me with their offerings. But again, as you can see, they're not really rollers. Um, the best rollers are, of course, Hot Wheels, Auto World, and Johnny Lightning. This is kind of down there with uh, Green Light, which is kind of a bummer because of the price point and everything. You you think that they would roll? <laughs> Looks like in this case it's more the back wheel, probably because of how fat they are. But I'm sure if I mess with it a little bit, it can roll a little bit better. But as you can see, it doesn't really doesn't really want to. <laughs> um, the hauler moves really nicely. Uh, actually, moves very very smoothly. So yeah, I'm really down with this set. Really liking these uh, in general. You know, I love like uh, these hauler sets. I love the uh, the Maisto Tow and Go and their Elite stuff. Um, Hot Wheels, Team Transports. Uh, I just really like um, you know haulers and stuff like that. I think they just make a really cool addition to the display. And uh, yeah, I'm really stoked on these. So let me know your feelings down below in the comments. Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Uh, have you been onto these for a while? I mean, I know I'm kind of a, I'm new to M2 and stuff like that, but I can definitely see myself grabbing a lot of these in the future. Uh, but yeah, that was the video. Thanks again for kicking it with me on this Tuesday afternoon. If you're new here, my name is J-Dog, and I post diecast videos all the time. And if that's your thing, please subscribe to the channel and drop kick the like button. And I'll see you dudes next time.